All right, guys. Hope uh, all is good and well. Been talking about making this video for a while now. I've had people contact me here and there and ask me various things, and I figured I'd just go ahead and get it out. Um, basically, a story of me. Um, Florida born and raised. I lived in Tennessee for a little bit, but wasn't long enough to really count. I got into cars because my daddy was a piece of crap and he walked out on me and my mom and in order to save my mom a big bill I learned how to fix our cars turned into a passion that I really loved um, I live close to Gainesville Florida where the Gator Nationals are and that was just a big hit I went I've been I don't know how many times now and it was just something that grew on me every time I went just something I love and just cars just overwhelm me. I mean, I just it's just something I can't stop thinking about. And in particular, in Mustangs. Before I even had a license to drive or anything, I had a subscription to Muscle Mustang and Fast Fords. I've built my New Edge Mustang in my head 400 million times. I never thought I'd own an SN really. And uh, again, I know a New Edge is an SN, but for terms here, we're just going to speak that a New Edge is 99 to 04 and SN is going to be 94 to 98 but anyway but uh I didn't start out with Mustangs my first car was actually given to me it was an 89 Trans Am by my aunt um, I went on to get I uh, had an 83 Camaro and then I had a 80 or a 91 Firebird and then an 80 89 Firebird, I believe it was. So I've had, or a Camaro. So I've had two Camaros and two Firebirds, all third gen. Um, from there, I, I had an Eagle Talon. That was my baby, that was my pride and joy. And I'll try to find some pictures to insert. But the Eagle Talon was a 95 Eagle Talon. It was turbo, it was all wheel drive, and I slowly did things to it. And that's where the, the mod bug pretty much bit me and just just took over. The car at best ran 11.9 in Gainesville. I launched it so hard, uh, the rear view mirror came off the windshield. I don't know if that says a lot about the uh, the grip of the car or the, the shittiness of the glue, but either way, that was my claim to fame back in the day. Um, I hit a deer, busted out the headlight, barely dented the hood, and for some reason I just got discouraged. I just, I was done with the project. A kid that had been asking me and asking me and asking me for the car, I called him up and he was there the next day and ended up buying it. So that's when my last Camaro came in. That would be the fourth. Um, I bought a Camaro after that. Um, I had a Toyota uh, Celica with a 22R rear wheel drive that I had for a fun car, a little drift car. We uh, actually made a dirt track and did like some rally racing with it and just fun stuff. I wish I had pictures of it, I don't have any of that. I had an Accord, um, I, I dabbled in Hondas for a little bit. I had a, a Accord 2001 with a F23 A1. It's pretty quick, I was out running some B18s with it. Um, I went on, I had a Honda Civic, which I'll uh, hopefully I still got the pictures of. It had carbon fiber fenders, it had real glass JDM headlights, they was blacked out, it had, you know, the city driving lights. Um, it was just a D15 with just bolt-ons, it was never going to be fast, it was just a fun, nimble little car. I had a, a Riced Out 2000 in Acre Integra, had a uh, Buddy Club body kit on it, which was a real body kit uh, which was one of the better ones so that wasn't that but it was like a type r yellow with some kind of spoiler on the back that a lot of people love but nobody really knew what it was um my friend really hooked me up with that car i had a forgot about this i had a glant previously to that i'm a mitsubishi fan i love mitsubishis um the glant had the 4g 64 which is the um single overhead cam but I love the engine. I was going to do the Evo head swap and turbocharge it and all this stuff. And I just just got head over heels, like with bills and stuff like that. And just just over my head, basically. And my friend 
handed me his Integra and said, you know, make payments, pay me when you can, and that's how that worked out. So uh, I give the Gallant back, and I, I took over the Integra. Um, the Integra, while it was fun, it had set for quite a while out in the field. He never drove it. He was a deputy, so he had a police cruiser, he had a Jeep, and the car just, you know, never really, never seen miles. The valve seals dried out. It got to the point where I would start it up, and first thing in the morning, it would smoke for probably 10 minutes. And my wife really hated it. The back seats were super small. I mean, most two doors are. But um, I ended up finding a great deal on a Thunderbird. Sorry, drew a blank there. 95 Thunderbird. And I knew it had the 4.6 and the IRS, and I got it, and I was so excited. And come to find out, 95 was the one that had the really crappy heads. You couldn't even put PI cams in it. Um, it had a metal intake that sucked for flow. And uh, I really just, I failed to do some research in that part. I should have got a 96 up. And I could have just swapped anything from a Mustang over to it, pretty much. But I had big plans for that car, and it never, you know, I just just found some other things uh, this being this car that I'm in now my 97 and um, uh, basically somebody I knew wanted my Thunderbird he needed a get around car he came and looked at it gave me a good deal on it I drove to Jacksonville and Jacksonville Florida with my friend the guy that hooked me up with the Cobra rims and I got this 97 Mustang um, it it should have been a sign and my wife she wasn't very happy with me and I can understand why but like when I as soon as I got there I pressed the trip button and that broke the trip meter stopped counting I don't know what the deal was when I pressed the button it was counting I was going around the block and I just want to say well I'm gonna go ahead and reset it so I see how long it is to till, till we get to the house and it just stopped working um, it sput and sputtered on the way home. Come to find out it had an intake leak. It was leaking water in the number four spark plug. Um, real easy fix. Got that taken care of. So this is where I'm... Uh, what led me into wanting Mustangs so bad is in the middle of all this, and I left this out on purpose so I can go back and talk about the car that started me into Mustangs and I just... People knew me by. So first of all, people knew me by my talent. I get the nickname Turbo Pat, and I didn't even know it. I had people coming up to me, what up, Turbo? Hey, how's it going? I didn't have a clue that that was my nickname. I'm, who who are you talking to? I said, oh, you remember you used to have a talent, man, where everybody called you Turbo Pat. And honestly, I didn't know that. But shortly after, I, um, I had an 89 Fox Buddy, and that was after my Civic was totaled. A guy lost control in the rain, passing me, T-balled me in the side, almost flipped us, and just totaled my Civic. With that money, I got an 89 GT. Had a bunch of stuff done to it. Had Thumper E7 heads, which flow more than GT40 heads. Um, it, had just, it had 373 gears. It had a King Cobra clutch. It had BBK Equal Length headers. It had BBK X-Pipe, Flowmaster Exhaust. Um, BBK torque arms, a Tikiko fully adjustable suspension. You just twist the knob on the top and you could adjust the suspension. It was slightly lowered. It had a uh, underdrive pulleys, which I don't really care about. It had the alternator upgrade done. It had the BBK fender well intake. It had a ported lower and upper, which I eventually switched to a comp polymers intake. It had an E303 cam. It had a 70 millimeter mass airflow. The car would scoot and I got a pretty good reputation and people started calling me Mustang Pat. I could call up people, you know, to ask them about parts and they said, hey, it's Pat. And then say, who? I said, Mustang Pat. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody knew me as Mustang Pat. And it got to the point where when people didn't see me in a Mustang, it was just weird to them. I actually sold my Mustang because I get bored of stuff and I regret it to this day. I should have never sold it. But I sold it to get a 94 BMW 325iS that had an M3 swap. Yeah, I, uh, I'm a dumbass. 
But uh, that car just give me the Mustang bug. I mean, I already love Mustangs, but just owning one and the reputation I got and the presence when I pulled up, people, my wife, she acts like she didn't like it, but she'd pull up to a gas pump and it was thumping away with the cam and everything. And then she got up and people would be like, whoa, you know, a girl got out of that. I think she secretly liked it. And she would tell me days later, same thing with my Talon. She did the same thing with the Mustang. It, it would be a few days. Oh, I raced the sky the other day. And she, she would never tell me that day. She would wait till a little bit. But she had a lot of fun in it. And her Talon has a lot of memories with her because her dad loved the car. And her dad was around then. The Mustang, I have a lot of, you know, a lot of heart into because it, it's a Mustang. And... Uh, I was hunting for another Fox body or a new edge and the prices on Fox bodies in Florida are outrageous Clapped out piece of crap cars 2.3s five six grand. That is just ridiculous now There are good deals out there, but they go so fast that it's almost pointless to even try at some point um, so I got this car because I wanted a new edge and this was close enough and so um, in the intro video, I talk about um, this car, the introduction to this car, what all I've done. But that's pretty much, that's my history, is a lot of people don't realize I didn't start out in Mustangs. I started out in imports. I love turbo cars. I love all-wheel drive. I love cars in general. My mom had a Ford ZX2 that um, every time I worked on it, I would make sure that I upgraded something. You know, it needed plugs and wires. Well, why don't we get the better coil pack and the better plugs and wires? Um, it's got an exhaust leak. Why don't we go ahead and buy a, a manifold for it? You know, it just she she really didn't know the difference, so she just went along with it. Okay, the car needs this, and you know, if we had the money, we did it. If it was something that she was going to struggle with, obviously, I wasn't going to sit here and tell her she needed something she didn't need because I'm, you know, that's my mom. But um, cars is. I don't know how to describe it. I have my family. I love my family. I'm grateful for my family. But the automotive world is an escape. I can get on Craigslist and look at cars I can't even afford. And just the thought processes start going and the gears start going. And I just, it's just, it's an amazing release for me. You know, it's, some people do drugs, some people drink. My dad was an alcoholic. I, I've never picked up a bottle to get drunk. I've never tried to escape anything by doing drugs. Okay, guys, I apologize. I had a little technical difficulty as the uh, memory was full. I guess I need to start checking that. I'm only running a 2 gig card right now, which is only good for 19 minutes. Um, I will be getting a 32 or bigger card. Um, anyway, where I left off is I've never had to uh, resort to alcohol or drugs to get my high in life. It's always been my family. It's always been cars. <clears throat> Which, I mean, I see as a good thing. Some of my family says I have an issue, but, you know, my wife says I have a mod issue because whether it be my guns, whether it be my car, whether it be anything, I have to mod it just who I am. My kids toys. I have to mod them. Um, got my son a wagon with the sole intention of hot riding it out. It's just that's just who I am. Um, but again pretty much just wanted to make this video people asking where you know I, I've dabbled in supercharged cars Thunderbird uh, Super Coupes with a supercharger on them. I've had turbo cars. I've had a little bit of everything. I've never had a nitrous car, but I've had friends that have had nitrous cars. It's just something I enjoy being around. It's something I'm doing. I'm a gearhead through and through. I started out at imports. I started out with a 4G63. Um, and that's just been... That's been my passion. You know, I had third gens before that, but... They didn't... You know, that was cool, and they was quick for what they was. But the, when I got the all-wheel drive and I started... I did the GT28 Turbo and the HKS cams and the Diasimla. Yeah, I just kept going and going and going. And when I ran that 11.9 at the track, I was hooked. I mean, and that car hooked, to be honest. And uh, 
I know this video is not uh, covering installs or anything like that. I do have a product that I just got for my birthday. Um, I don't know if I mentioned yet or not, but today is my birthday, November 5th. I am 35 today. Um, the thing I got was the port for the OBD2 so I can run the torque scan. Um, I know they have a force scan too that I want to look into. But uh, I'm running torque right now. I can see all kind of my temperature and all that. I will do a video review on that. But that's what I got today. I'm really excited for it. But this has just been the update on me. Who am I? What have I had? What's my past? And you know, some of you going to sit and watch all this. Some of you ain't going to watch it. I understand that. Nobody wants to see a fat guy sitting here talking. But at the end of the day... Um, I just wanted people to understand that I'm not solely on Mustangs. That this horse play is not just a play on Mustang being a horse. It was just playing out on the road. It's, you know, horse play, but in a streetcar, you know. It doesn't matter what I have. I'm going to be out there horsing around and having fun and, you know, doing things I shouldn't do. But it, it's in my blood. It's always going to be me. So I appreciate y'all joining. If y'all made it this far thank you if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe got a lot more coming like I said hopefully soon I'll have a new car to the channel I don't know yet if it's gonna be if it's gonna be another Mustang if it's gonna be an import I don't know what it's gonna be it might be an SUV I don't know it would just something to kind of bring a little bit more content and uh, something for me to mod so until next time Thank you for watching Horseplay. Guess we're out. Peace.